At our school watch and in our continuing coverage, despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, Pueblo School District 60 managing to continue the work set forth in the 2019 $218 million bond. Now with the measure, two new high schools will be built to replace East and Centennial and other improvements in the district as well. News Science Mayo Davison has a progress report for us tonight. While the pandemic disrupted a lot of things last year, it didn't get in the way of D60's plan to create two high schools to replace the structurally plagued East and Centennial buildings. We're uh, learning some new ways of doing it, like uh, virtual meetings and things like that, but uh, we've adapted and everything is on track. Groundbreaking on the high schools are still planned for March and wrapping up in the middle of 2023. Demolition will start and schools will open that following fall. Some of the other projects have already been completed. The demolition of the uh, closed Heroes School has been completed. The, the uh, sidewalk repairs at Highland Park, those are all completed now. With the new improvements, the district is looking to become more energy efficient and improve air quality in the buildings. Ventilation especially important now during the pandemic. The two schools that are, are getting the, the VRF uh, system, they, they've never had air conditioning, so this will bring air conditioning into those schools. The bond measure also created a citizens bond advisory committee that oversees how the funds are spent. We made some suggestions that they adopted on the different template for how the money is presented so that we could track it a little easier on our side. Mike Donnell, a member of the committee, says the funds are being allocated exactly as D60 leadership pledged they would be. The committee working closely with the district to ensure every penny goes where it's supposed to. We wanted to make sure that we listened to everyone. And, and that's been true throughout the process of the, the high school projects. Uh, it'll be the same with the elementary school projects. The district says it was important to have committee and community input during the process. To keep everyone updated, they've held town hall and design advisory group meetings. We wanted to make sure that we listened to everyone. And, and that's been true throughout the process of the, the high school projects. Uh, it'll be the same with the elementary school projects. Mayo Davison for us tonight. Now we're told the only problem they faced is one of their manufacturers closing down, but they're hoping it won't cause a major delay. Now, if you need updates, a whole section on the district can help you out a website, I should say, including how money is being spent. They also have a virtual tour.